Hey, it's Jessica. And Pat's here being annoying. I'm watching. He's watching. And Ruby's up being Ruby. She's in her wheel right now. And Brownie's not up. I don't, I don't think anybody else is up. Anyways, this is a requested video, but I can't remember who requested it because they requested it before I did my whole question and Q&A. And I can't even remember what video I saw the request on, but they wanted me to do hamster diet, which I think I've done before, but I'll do it again. So I'm feeding my hamsters. I washed all my bowls because yesterday they got some egg and Ruby didn't finish hers, so that was kind of gross because it's still in her bowl. So I washed them all. So my main feed is hazel hamster, and then I mix in Living World Green pellets, which is pretty much only Canadian. Um, they get this canary mix, and then they do get the Supreme Science Selective. This is the new one. As you can see, it's the little red hearts. This is what I have left of the old stuff. Touche So what you want, the stats of your food, ideally what you want is your protein of your hamster's food should be 19 to I think 22 percent, but you're not going to find food that's probably 22 percent because it's hard to find. Uh, the fat should be around 5 percent and the fiber, wait, that's the wrong sheet I'm looking at. Yeah, so the protein should be 17 to 22 percent. Um, the fiber should be 8 to 10 percent and the fat should be 4 to 6 percent. No, I still need that sheet pack. Yeah. I threw away my old sheet. Threw it at me. This is the, I found this online. This is the stats for this food since I don't have the bag anymore. This is the new stuff. So we'll go through food. Hazel hamster. By the way, hazel hamster does not contain BHT anymore because I know that was a big controversial thing. But it's not on the bag anymore. So. Hazel hamster, the protein is 18%, so that's good. The fat is 5%, and the fiber is 9%, so it's right in that good area. Living real green. Uh, there it is down there. I don't know if you can see it, but the protein is 16%, so it's under. Uh, fat is 4%. The fiber is 16%. So I like this because the fiber is really high in it. And the fat's okay. And the protein's not too, too low. I think it's the same as the Oxbow pellets. Oxbow pellets are 16% I've heard. Uh, Bender's meowing in the background like always. So this is the Old Hearts. And its protein is 19%. The fat is 5% and the fiber is 5%. So the fiber is too low on the Old Hearts. But the protein is, is good and the fat's good. So this is the new one where they've lowered the protein. So a lot of people are kind of unimpressed with that. But I'm trying to find it. So yeah, the protein is now 17%. Uh, the crude fat minimum is 3%, so it could be more. And the fiber max is 3%. So the fiber is still low on this, like really low. But the protein being 17% isn't too bad. It is meeting the lowest requirement, so it's not too bad. Plus I like to give my hamsters a variety of things because in the wild they'd be picking up different things since they're foragers. And like I said, that's why I like this one, because it's really high in fiber. The ingredients to this is, it has a lot of hay in it. Yeah, ingredients, oat, soybean meal, wheat, brown rice, timothy grass, tall fescue grass, orchard grass, peas, potato meal, dehydrate, dehydrated alfalfa meal, flaxseed, peanuts, canola oil, Preserved with blah 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 blah, and then all the blah 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 stuff that I don't really. So it is pretty good food if you can find it. I do like these as well. I know some people feed Oxbow, and that's probably just as good because they probably can't find this stuff. I have to order my hazel hamster online anyway, so I order this at the same time. Plus, this lasts forever. I've had these ones for a long, long time, and I haven't even opened these ones yet. So I'll get to feeding my hamsters because they need to be fed. Just trying to get my, I use a tablespoon. So this is my canary mix, which I get from, as you can see, the bulk burn. Uh, I can't remember what exactly is in it, but it is it's flax seed. Uh, I think there's grass seed in it. I don't think there's millet in it because I don't see it. But uh, I can't even remember exactly what it is. But it's pretty good. The dwarfs really like it. I find the Syrians, I give it to them, but 
they usually leave some. So that's Ruby's bowl, that's Brownie's bowl. This one is uh, Jude's bowl. Bandit is the only one that has this weird bowl. I need to get him one of these living world bowls. So I start off with that, and then I go on to the living world grain. Also, this will end up looking like a lot of food, but that's because I don't feed them every day, like a lot of people do. I basically wait until their food is empty, which is usually like three days. So they usually get a big heaping scoop of this, at least the searing. I usually feed the searing a tiny bit more because they're bigger. Not enough came out of that scoop. Plus Jude likes to pouch everything, so... Usually give the hazel hamster on top. I usually shake the bag first though, because I find like all the grains, the small stuff, sink. I usually do that. I don't know what the cats are doing. It's late. It's like midnight, so they're doing their crazy own thing. Put a lot of corn in it. it. Sounds like he's dying. I know he's fine. He's just calling for attention from Fry. They have to call to each other when they're not. Like if one of them wants to play and the other one doesn't, they will talk to each other. So there's the hazel hamster. I think Ruby needs a bit more. There. And then with the hearts, with the old hearts, they only get two each in each bowl. The new ones, I don't know what I'm going to do because they're much... I don't know if you can see it. See, they're much smaller. Maybe we'll get four or something. Uh, one, two. They usually eat these, too, because they're good. And then what I usually end up doing is I add in a treat and I change what I give them every time I feed them. Sometimes they, I add in some millet, sometimes I add in some oatmeal, sometimes I add in, um, I don't know, one of my treats. I'll make another, I'll make a separate video of like all my treats so this video isn't too long. Oh, I do have these, which I add in because um, Hazel Hamster doesn't have too many sun, sunflower seeds. So I add in these black sunflower seeds. These are just bird sunflower seeds, like plain black ones, not striped ones. Because I heard that the black ones are healthier. I don't, know, I don't know if there's any truth to that. I usually give more to the Syrians than the dwarves. And then occasionally they do get a piece of vegetable, which is usually like a piece of green pepper. So yeah, that is what I feed my hamsters, and I'll make another video of all my treats so you can see that. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. And bye bye.